Stop, stop, stop. And then on top of all this, um, rich people are getting second passports. So rich U.S. families are applying for second uh, citizenships and are building no passport portfolios. Went on another fucking tour. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. As a backup plan for global uncertainty, wealthy Americans are diversifying their nationality portfolios in response to global uncertainty, often seeking second or multiple citizenship as financial and personal safety nets, that is reported from Yahoo Finance, and then CNBC also has a report, and Business Insider has a report. So this is, this is a trend that they're seeing is, um, is, is definitely happening, and the I noticed like the wealthier people get like the more they like start traveling more and they start buying properties in other places and stuff like that more and stuff like that. Um, yo man, <sighs> shout out to Africa. I've I've been I've been trying to come home. I'll be honest with y'all. I've been already thinking to myself like yo like I need to look at other other places as well too because. I, I understand that being in America has certain benefits, but it, it's also certain disadvantages as well, too, that you really don't see until you leave. You know what I mean? And, and I left I left enough to realize, like, yeah, it's not good to have all your eggs in one basket, you know? Yeah. So, um, and there's, there's a lot of places that will accept us um, for who we are, you know what I mean? And, and what we bring and what we can build. And I want to go where I'm wanted, you know what I mean? I want to go somewhere that doesn't want me. You know, have you seen the video of the lady? Like, I guess she was spilling tea mm -hmm. when black people were moving to other countries. Really? Yeah, she took a little shot of Miralax and put it in her coffee. She was like, "If you think that these other Spaniard countries, yeah, are gonna mm -hmm. take you in, I did see that." She said. I drop some shit on you. Right. Yeah, that um that actually kind of sparked me to wanting to bring some of this stuff up. Mm -hmm. Um that very conversation. Um let's see. Well, this is the old this is the old thing. Yeah, I basically I want to go where I'm where I'm I want it. You know what I mean? A lot of times we want to go to some place that's already developed, already ready to go and stuff like that. That's cool and everything. It's like, we got to build it from the ground up. We got to do it from the ground up because everybody else did. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, if you look at what China looked like 20 years ago, China was a shithole. India was a shithole. But what they do, they took some of these, they found a lane and got into it and became what they were. If you look at what Dubai looked like 20, 20 years ago, that Dubai was just nothing but desert. I you think we want, we're so like comfortable in America. We want to take the easy way, of course. Because yeah. America was built on our backs, so yeah, now yeah. we just be want to escape to somewhere because we already did the work. Yeah, it was just like really, we still ain't reaping the fruits of our labor. Like, <laughs> how the fuck <laughs> are people immigrating to this country getting reparations before us? Oh my god! Oh, here we go. That yeah, man. That's so infuriating. Yeah, and and it's starting. It's starting to really weigh his ugly head because. We've got in, uh, let me see if I can pull the statistic. How many illegal aliens entered the country during Biden? I want to say we're close to 10 million. Um, That's no, like... Nothing against anybody who immigrated. It's just like, damn, nigga. We was the first ones. Right. <laughs> and we didn't even immigrate. We was snatched. <laughs> <laughs> so according to the Republican Party, because, you know, they're keeping tabs for sure. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, every job application. It's, they're saying about 7.2 million illegal Im immigrants have entered the country since... Uh, Biden has taken office. Jesus, just since he taken office? Yeah. Damn. That's a lot of people, Mo. I ain't gonna lie. And um So much for that wall, right? 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, now people are just like, yo, we need the wall. Like Texas had a big issue with the United States government where they were putting up walls because they were just tired of so many illegal immigrants just coming in. So the United States government told Texas, y'all have to take that wall down. And Texas was just like, fuck you. If you, ta- if you come down here and take it down, we're going to put it right back up. No, no, I am against the wall. Yeah. Because like, what they're doing down there is really inhumane just from like mm-hmm. knowing people who live in texas mm-hmm. and they're like yeah they're straight up like putting barbed wire in the water they are, they are. to like drown people yeah I, I, like, I assume I'm, that. no all i'm asking for is like give the people who've been here like just like we can visit other countries and right. it's like we're not going to reap their benefits because right. we are not citizens yeah yeah just like that right. you don't you don't got to be ugly about it just like take care of your people but this is the thing Everybody does want to be here and we can't fit everybody in here. That's mm-hmm. the problem. So if we had a lax border, but then you look at, no, everybody wants to be in over populated cities. Mm-hmm. There's so much fucking space mm-hmm. in the middle of the country, in that, the nobody middle wants of to the country that nobody wants to just, yeah. How, how about those, you make those designated areas. Like I ain't going to lie. Like, okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. Everybody owns that's like, Everybody owns land. Yeah. You, you can't make more land. Right. So that's why, I like... Well, not yet. No, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I'm saying, like, mm-hmm. as far as here, yeah. you can't make more land. So everything's right. already owned. So it's like, it'll be a question of ownership. But make certain areas, like, how we have reservations. Mm-hmm. Like, just, hey, build, do it yourself. Right. Like, people just need a fighting chance. And I, I'll give you this. There are a lot of immigrants that do come over here and they're willing to work they're willing to work and right. do it themselves like right. a lot of people literally just need a fighting chance right but there are some people being sent here that are not in the best interest of the country when you have almost 10 million people undocumented coming into a country that's unprecedented that's alarming because what that does is you're taking resources from the people who are already here because what happens when that illegal immigrant comes here and has to go to the hospital or has to, um, or, or, or whatever the case is, they get American benefits, even though they're not American. You could be bleeding out in the hospital and they're mm-hmm. like, I still need to see your, your, your ID. Depends on what country. And the, I mean, I'm sorry. It depends on what state you're in. Um, because for example, Texas and a lot of the other Southern states got so fed up with just dealing with the overpopulation of illegal immigrants being there. They will get them on buses and send them up to the north, right? Mm-hmm. So they send them to Chicago, New York City, and Boston, mm-hmm. okay? So literally, there are millions of illegal immigrants in Boston, for example, right? Mm-hmm. And I, I, I'm going to pull up a video if I can find it real quick. Why don't we just send them to, like, fucking Utah? Because, because Utah can't withstand them either. Because we also have to look at, okay, we can send them to Utah, but there isn't enough there for them either you could try to get them to build something but under <laughs> under what money and what authority uh, exactly mm-hmm. that, well then that's the choice you kind of make for yourself right so in boston for example all the illegal immigrants they have to give them housing so they give them housing um so a lot of them have taken up from the people who are actually residents there. Mm-hmm. They also have to give them food mm-hmm. as well, too. So they're feeding them as well. That's what I'm um, saying. Like, that goes back to my original point of, okay, mm-hmm. we'll take care of your people first. Right. And then once you choose to be here, mm-hmm. then that's just kind of on you. Yeah. Like, I could fly to fucking any country right now with zero dollars, and I do not expect them to take care of me. And they're going to be like, no. Right. And then you got places like Chicago who's allowing illegal immigrants to own firearms. It's like legal for them to own firearms. So now they're giving them even rights and stuff like that, too. Now my next question is to you is what countries can we go to Mm -hmm. where they would just take us in and just be like, oh, well, you can't let them be homeless and you can't you can't not feed them. Well, I think it's a different side of the spectrum. Anybody wants to have an American in because uh, Americans. We, our passport is the most well received in the world. Like we can go to more countries than any other mm-hmm. country. So people want Americans to come in because they look at us as dollar signs and stuff like that. Like, so where can we go? And they house us for free. Houses for free. 
Nowhere. Okay. So, but why should we be doing doing that to, to someone to, else? When right. Us Black Americans mm-hmm. can barely get housing for free. Exactly. In our own country. And th- and this is the thing. I, I'm 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 just telling the truth. With the more illegal immigrants that come in, the less our voice matters. And I think it's kind of done intentionally. And too. here's the fucked up part about it. Because let's say if we was to revolutionize and be like, oh, okay, let's just take partner up with the immigrants because we're, we're still like. We're cousins. Cousins. Mm-hmm. We build these little cities and somehow they always get burnt down, flooded or, um, mm-hmm. you Mobbed. know. Yeah. Mobbed. Yeah. So it's like a lose-lose situation. So it goes yeah. back to like. Even Asian Amer- a- like Asian immigrants are like getting representations because they're racially racially profiled. discriminated the profiled and it's just like what about us? Right. That the um the stop hate the stop Asian hate movement when that situation Blasphemy. happened in Georgia, they got that bill signed like that. Blasphemy. Meanwhile, but see, this is the thing. Like we are very good at being loud and protesting, but they know that we don't go any further than that. We do not know how to lobby. We do not know how to come together with money mm-hmm. and say, hey, this is what we want. We, we are too busy arguing about us. Fuck even arguing. We're too busy fucking listening to Sexy Red and fucking <laughs> bullshit. Like, <laughs> we don't give a fuck about what's actually Reagan going on. did a number on our people. Yeah, he it's really like, did. It's like, make sure they don't know and they won't. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, it does be going right over our heads. But these other groups, like the reason why I stopped the stop Asian hate movement work. The reason why the LGBT movement works so well is because not only do they market it well, but they don't, they don't just go out and protest and that's it. They get their money together. They lobby, which means that you're paying somebody to go to Congress or go to the state with some laws and be like, Hey, this is how much we have. This is what we want. And they go and buy a politician. And then that politician, we go and vote for them. And that is how it's done. We don't do that. We do not know how to put our fucking money together for a cause for anything. We're too busy fighting each other over bullshit. Crabs in a bucket. Yeah. So it's, it's very, it's very, very irritating. Um, and what's going to happen is, because this is another law they're passing. They're allowing illegal um, immigrants to vote as well too. So if well, these, then how, at what point did they just stop being illegal? Ex- exactly. So you let 10, you're letting, cause you are letting, you're letting 10 million undocumented illegal immigrants in the country. And when you do that, you're some cities, you're allowing them to have firearms. Some cities you're allowing them but to But let vote. me go and leave out of Canada and come back without my passport. Right. I can't go to Canada and buy a gun. <laughs> I can't go to Canada and vote. They're like, how do we know you're American? Right. Like, I, here's my a picture of my high school diploma. I get here's right. my ID. I I be just trying to figure like what is the what is the benefit as as a country? What is the benefit of us doing that? Like it doesn't make it doesn't make any sense to me. But this is this is where we're at. This is where we're at with it. Um. Yeah. I I don't know, man. Um. I'm I'm starting to learn some of the the, the issues when it, when we had such a lax border. I think that people should be allowed to come to the country, um, as long as they just do it legally. You know what I mean? Um, that's where I'm at with it. Um, and then meanwhile, uh, yeah, man, we <laughs> we spent a lot of time on this topic. All right, okay. Okay, okay. I'm going to do one more thing. Mm, makes my stomach turn. It's a lot, man. It's a lot. All right. Top hill, top hill, top.